hey, this is a topic I disagree with a lot of other game developers about, especially on YouTube, and I think it's important to talk about. And the question really is, where should you start working in game development? Should you start at a AAA company? Should you start at an indie place? Should you just start on your own and build your own games as an indie? A lot of people, I think, generally recommend starting off um, doing the indie route because there are a lot of opportunities there. The barrier to entry is relatively low. And um, I, I think that that's just the path that a lot of those people took. But since I came from a totally opposite side of that, from the starting in AAA, well, starting in Enterprise and then AAA stuff, I've got a very different perspective. I think that there are some real big reasons and real big advantages to starting in a AAA or close to AAA company if possible. And there are some real downsides to starting off as an indie. Not always, of course, they're going to be the outliers and you probably see them talk all the time because the outliers are amazing. But in general, what I found is that um, you know, indie developers tend to struggle more. They tend to have a lower pay. They tend to um, or just have a lot more risk involved in, in their life and in their cycle. You go through the process of putting together a game, putting it out there, and then hoping that it that it goes well. With AAA, it's, um, well, you, you do the same process. You, you put out a game, hope that it does well. But either way, you're getting some other benefits that you're just probably not necessarily getting at an indie company. You might, but probably not. And some of those are, first, of course, money. Like you've got obviously a good flow of income if you're working at a AAA company. In fact, I asked ChatGPT just to get an idea of what the budgets were nowadays. And if you look at the difference here, AAA companies are on median around $60 million. I don't know exactly how accurate that is. And indie companies on median you know, around 50,000. And that seems really low, but that's probably a lot of the one man teams. And then I think that the that what you should expect is that they're going to be more around that half million dollar, 200,000 half million dollar budget. But again, with AAA, there's a lot of budget. So developers actually get paid what they're worth, or at least most of them do, or pretty close to what they're worth, com at least compared to indie developers. With indie, there's a lot of um, risk and hope that everything goes well. With AAA, you've got that, that financial benefit right from the beginning. But there are two other benefits that I think are maybe even bigger and more important, at least long term, maybe not in the short term. Money is always good short term. So long term, what are these benefits? Well, one of them is that you're going to be working alongside a lot of experienced developers. And if you take advantage of that opportunity, they're going to be talkative and you're going to be able to learn a lot. You're going to grow and get a lot of new skills, be able to see and do things that you would never have the opportunity to do if you're working alone or on a small team. Plus, since the size of the team is so large, you're going to grow a really big network. You're going to have, or at least have the opportunity to. If you work with 20 other engineers on your team, that's 20 opportunities to make good friends that might end up being long-time connections and people that you work with throughout the future at other places, or even go on to what a lot of AAA companies do, which is starting up these double A companies, which are smaller than triple A. I've got the, the numbers right up here, typically coming in at around, I'd say 5 million is usually what I've heard as kind of like a, a minimum budget. And they've got medium sized teams. And these are usually developers who've worked together starting off a team. They're usually coming out of triple A and one or more of them have made a ridiculous amount of money on triple A stuff and they want to start something new. And this is kind of like the birth of AAA game studios. There's a bunch of these studios out there. It says hundreds globally. I would bet there's probably thousands of them globally out there. Um, and there are lots of opportunities to get on these teams. But to get onto those teams, you generally need to have a good connection or know somebody there, or maybe know somebody who knows somebody there, because they're not hiring hundreds of people. They're hiring, you know, like dozens of people. Um, so it's, it's definitely a big benefit in my opinion, that, that network especially. You can get that all with indie, don't get me wrong. You can do all of these things with indie development. You can make it, build up a network. You can even sometimes get paid really well. But most of the time I found that it's just drastically easier in AAA stuff. The hardest part there is just getting your foot in the door. You gotta get in, start at the company somehow, any way you can, and then build on up. That's another opportunity that really only exists or largely only exists at AAA companies because they're so large. There's always opportunities to grow and move up. You can go from customer service 
to engineering or design or management and end up being like a lead producer or, or anything like that. You can grow in those places pretty easily if you're dedicated and try hard. So I highly recommend that you at least consider AAA companies when you're looking at your game development stuff. Um, don't just assume that you have to do indie stuff. Go in, try applying, see what you can get into and build your way up there. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of opportunity there and there's a, just a lot of room for growth. All right, if you disagree with me, please drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear why I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong about a lot of this stuff. And uh, if you don't, then make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.